Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to my gun range. I got a pretty cool little video for y'all today and today we are getting to a thousand rounds of 380 ACP through the Glock 25. Hopefully I have enough camera battery for this. Uh, yeah, it might be just enough camera battery, but guys, here's what we got. Okay, so yeah, like I said, today will be a thousand rounds through the Glock 25. Now here's the thing. The thousand rounds will not be through the Glock 25 pistol by itself. The thousand rounds will be through the MCK chassis system. So, yeah, when it hits a thousand, it will be a thousand through the chassis. Uh, as of just shooting the handgun, I have, I have not <laughs> shot just the pistol by itself. Uh, every single round that I got and fired has been out of this chassis system. So. I actually do not have any experience of shooting the pistol by by itself. Uh, so <clears throat> that's what the thousand rounds is going to be through is with the chassis system. And by the way, guys, I just want to say, <coughs> whoa, allergies. Okay, springtime. This ammunition that I'm using is by far the worst ammunition I've ever fired out of out of a gun out of my whole life that I've been shooting guns. And I've been shooting guns since I was a kid. This has got to be the worst ammunition ever fired. I am so happy to get rid of this ammo right here. So this is, um, this, uh, is it LAX or, uh, I think this one is Freedom, Freedom Munitions, uh, 380 ACP. This is the most sketchy, most janky ammunition I've ever fired. Oh my goodness. Look, hey, this, this ammunition is literally dangerous. I've never seen bullets just flying off in different directions. Now someone will go, oh, well, no, that's that's definitely, that's got to be your gun and everything. No. If I put factory arms core ammunition, or if I put even hand loads of 380 ACP, when I turn this red dot on, those bullets go exactly where that red dot is. I kid y'all not, I literally, I literally walked, uh, I was about, mm, maybe about 20 feet away from that, that circle target right there, aiming dead center with that ammunition right there, and the spread was insane. I mean, yeah, sure, some actually do hit the center. Oh my goodness. Yes, there is a reason why I got a bargain on that ammunition. That is the, that is trash trash ammunition right there that is the worst ammunition you can buy but i mean a, a thousand rounds for 250 bucks you get what you pay for <laughs> i mean <laughs> look at these primers have you ever seen primers that look like they're literally smashed into the case i have no idea if the cameras but they look like they're literally smashed into the case man that is some crazy janky shit so I'm very, very happy to get rid of this ammo. Oh, and another thing too, when I fired out of that Glock 25, there is a lot of unburnt powder still in the barrel. This ammunition, I shit you not, I told, I told my friend Mitchell, I said, dude, this ammunition serves you one purpose and one purpose only. It is literally just to be able to say, hey, yeah, that gun's got a thousand rounds through it. That is not practical. That is not good training ammunition. You literally buy that ammo just to say yeah that gun's got a thousand rounds through it and that's literally it <laughs> well let's go ahead we are sponsored today by miller light a fine pilsner beer to blow up and uh we have six cans down there well there was eight but we got six cans down there right now we got 30 rounds let's see if we can get some b-roll footage of me blowing this crap up Yeah, last round hit. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh, that stuff is so so inaccurate. I mean, I can I can not believe how inaccurate. I mean, my my dot is like it's literally right there and I can't even hit him. That stuff is just absolute trash. Okay, let's get to a thousand rounds and be done with it. Ooh, 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 never buying that ammo again.
got to be ready to fight zombies and viruses. and rounds finally oh my goodness finally that ammunition is gone that is some trash ammo oh my goodness that ammunition is trash Woo! thousand rounds got to it okay wow Jeez Louise. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. That is nice and hot. <clears throat> okay. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so, thousand rounds through the Glock 25 here. What do I think? Wow. Well, what do I think? Um, make sure you have some quality ammo. That shit is trash. <laughs> That's what I think. Um, but anyway, no. Yeah, so, no, if you're actually shooting quality ammunition through the Glock 25 and this PDW kit right here, then yeah, the gun's going to serve you just fine. Uh, this makes for a really good backpack gun. It makes for a good, very good truck gun. Uh, this is just an overall very good personal defense uh, weapon system here. Um, and like I say, so long as you have good ammunition, it, you're, you're going to be just fine. Um, I have not had any malfunctions. I'm actually surprised every single one of those rounds actually went off. Because, I mean, that shit looks janky. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a Glock. Uh, Glocks, you know, they're known for their reliability uh, and dependability. Um, the only thing I will say is if you're going to go with a PDW kit like this, you're going to want to get, hopefully somebody manufactures like a 30 round magazine, a uh, 50 round, uh, you know, like a drum or something like that, because the 15 rounds is only going to get you so far. Now I do get it, this is really just like a, a, a carry gun really, this is not really meant to be in a chassis system like this. Um, but if you're gonna go this route right here Then yeah, really you should have like 30 round magazines or something like that. Hopefully somebody will create those uh, one of these days But uh, overall, it's been a very good experience uh, We're talking about durability uh, being reliable uh, dependable dependability and things of that nature um, I can say after a thousand rounds the trigger definitely seems to be a lot better um what else can I say about it? Um, it's just a very handy little package. Uh, 380 ACP, the recoil is not going to be that bad. 380 is going to be more expensive than 9mm, of course. Now, this was cheap, but yeah, I definitely got what I paid for. I did, ooh, that was, ooh. Anyway, but like I said, uh, the gun's now got a thousand rounds through it. I'm very happy to be able to say that. Uh, I never figured I was be able to shoot a thousand rounds of 380. Uh, I'm thankful I got to do that. Uh, very low recoil, very fun, handy. Uh, if you're going on a camping trip, something like that, keep it in your truck. This is a very handy little package to have here. But I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's do this here. Uh, since we hit a thousand rounds, let's go ahead and take this gun out of this chassis system here. Let's actually take a look at what this gun actually looks like after a thousand rounds through it. Because I'm sure <laughs> this is going to be uh, quite interesting to see. Just how dirty it's probably going to be. Okay. Now, let's see if I can pop it out. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, guys, I'm telling y'all right now. Yeah, that thing is very, very dirty. Let me see if I can have the sun 
hit it here. I don't, man, I hope. Can you see that carbon built up? You look at the end of the muzzle. You might be able to just, just pick it up. Maybe. There's like a big spot right there. And you can tell, look at these little spots on her. Wow, the gun is really hot right now. That, ooh, everything is, ooh, yeah, everything is burning hot after all that. Um, there's the end of the muzzle right there, if you can tell. A lot of carbon built up right there, but everything is still looking really good. Um, wow, yeah, that's a lot of uh, carbon built up right there. I don't know if you can tell. And yes, before people freak out, yes, the gun is clearer. Obviously, I just emptied the whole ammunition, uh, but... take uh, this uh, nice little John Deere John Deere key right here Ooh, I can't even scrape it off it's like it well I don't know maybe can you hmm you can the camera ain't gonna pick up it's like it's, it's like really thick thick on the end of the barrel like oh man I actually might need like a brush or something like that well, maybe the camera kind of pick it up. But yeah, wow, man. Um, thousand rounds through this little little guy right here. Um, here's what the inside looks like. Oh yeah, look at look at the firing pin area. You see that? Look at that circle. Look at that circle around that firing pin area. Wow. Yeah. Woo, baby. That's incredible. Wow, look at that. <laughs> 380, baby. Wow. Yeah, I never figured I'd ever say I shot a thousand rounds of 380. Dang. Look at that. Wow. Jeez Louise. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. I ain't gonna lie, man. Anyway, guys, uh, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Uh, yeah, it's it's such a privilege to be able to say that uh, I got to shoot a thousand rounds, even though that was by far the worst, <laughs> worst ammunition uh, I've ever fired, but it was fun. Anyway, guys, uh, y'all stay safe out there. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Be careful. There are tyrants and uh, mutated zombies running around, you know. Uh, but uh, you got the Umbrella Corporation here ready to take care of it. Oh, wait, or manufacture it. Or, hey, Leon, where you at, Leon? I need you to go take care of it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a wolf. I'm signing out.